Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozorg and in this video I want to talk about modeling and simulation of thermomechanical process including welding and hot forming in Abacus. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about the explanations presented in this video using the comments below. We try to answer all questions regarding the video details in the comments below. This is the table of content. I will talk about types of thermomechanical analysis in Abacus, sequentially coupled thermomechanical analysis, comparison of fully and sequentially coupled thermal stress analysis, examples of solving a problem as a sequentially coupled analysis, examples of solving a problem as a fully coupled analysis, Welding and 3D printing simulations, steps for fully coupled thermomechanical analysis, coupled temp displacement step, dynamic temp disp explicit step, defining initial temperature, transferring the results from heat transfer analysis to mechanical analysis, extrusion simulation by considering thermal effects due to friction and plastic deformation, and next tutorial content. Thermomechanical problems are one of the most important types of multiphysics problems. Many types of industrial processes are included in the thermomechanical problems. Therefore, the analysis of them is vital for engineers. Fortunately, Abacus is well suited for performing thermomechanical simulations. This tutorial will explain the procedure of modeling and simulation of thermomechanical problems in the abacus. There are two types of thermomechanical analysis in abacus. Sequentially coupled thermomechanical analysis and fully coupled thermomechanical analysis. In sequentially coupled thermomechanical analysis, temperature and stress fields are not calculated simultaneously. But in fully coupled thermomechanical analysis, temperature and stress fields are calculated simultaneously. A sequentially coupled heat transfer analysis is used when the stress deformation field in a structure depends on the temperature field in that structure. But the temperature field can be found without knowledge of the stress deformation response and is usually performed by first conducting an uncoupled heat transfer analysis and then a stress deformation analysis. The temperatures are read into the stress analysis as a predefined field. The temperature varies with position and is usually time dependent. It is predefined because it is not changed by the stress analysis solution. Such predefined fields are always read into Abacus standard at the nodes. They are then interpolated to the calculation points within elements as needed. The temperature interpolation in the stress elements is usually approximate and one order lower than the displacement interpolation to obtain a compatible variation of thermal and mechanical strain. Any number of predefined fields can be read in and material properties can be defined to depend on them. Now I want to compare fully and sequentially coupled thermal stress analysis. Fully coupled thermal stress analysis is more realistic and more accurate than the sequentially coupled thermal stress analysis. Fully coupled simulation is more time consuming and uses more physical memory. The possibility of convergency issues in coupled thermal stress analysis is more than the sequentially coupled thermal stress analysis. If large plastic deformation does not occur in the model, there is no need to conduct the fully coupled analysis. Now I want to talk about examples of solving a problem as a sequentially coupled analysis. In simulations like analysis of pipes with crossing hot fluids or analysis of a structure subjected to daily temperature changes, we can conduct a sequentially coupled analysis instead of a fully coupled analysis. Now I want to show you a paper 
that its authors have done a sequentially coupled thermal stress analysis. Interface damage and its effect on vibration of a slab track under temperature and vehicle dynamic loads. In this study, mechanical analysis under temperature and vehicle dynamic loads is combined with the transient heat transfer analysis to investigate the damage and delamination at the interface. The transient heat transfer analysis is first conducted to obtain the temperature field database by using the heat transfer element DC3D8 and two user-defined subroutines named Deflux and film are used in this analysis to simulate the solar radiation and convective heat transfer around the surface of the slab track system, respectively. After the completion of the transient heat transfer analysis, transient temperatures of the slab track system are transferred into the mechanical analysis. This is accomplished by creating a database file as the predefined temperature field in each step of the mechanical analysis. Now I go back to the slides. Now I want to talk about examples of solving a problem as a fully coupled analysis. Processes like hot rolling, hot extrusion, and friction steer welding or FSW must be simulated as a fully coupled analysis. All of these processes include large plastic deformations, therefore they must be simulated using coupled procedure. Welding and 3D printing processes can be simulated as a fully coupled or sequentially coupled thermomechanical analysis. Now I want to talk about fully coupled thermomechanical analysis. We can use both of the abacus structural solvers for doing fully coupled thermomechanical analysis. If we want to use abacus standard solver, we must use coupled temp displacement step. And if we want to use abacus explicit solver, we must use dynamic temp explicit step. In coupled temp displacement step, a stress and temperature fields are solved simultaneously, and this step can simulate transient and steady state temperature fields, and this step does not consider the inertial effects, so only static and quasi-static problems can be solved. In dynamic temp this explicit step, a stress and temperature fields are solved simultaneously. And this step can simulate transient and steady state temperature fields. And this step considers the inertial effects. So every type of mechanical problem can be solved. Now I want to talk about defining initial temperature. In heat transfer analysis or coupled thermal stress analysis, the initial temperature is assumed to be zero if no initial temperature is defined. Most of the time, this is incorrect since the initial temperature of the parts is equal to the room's temperature that is 20 degrees. Now I want to talk about transferring the results from heat transfer analysis to mechanical analysis. Here I have defined a temperature predefined field in a step one of mechanical analysis. I have set the distribution to from results or output database file. And here I have written name of heat transfer results file. And here I have entered number of beginning step of heat transfer analysis for transferring nodal temperatures. And here I have entered number of beginning increment of the beginning step of heat transfer analysis. And here I have entered number of ending step of heat transfer analysis for transferring nodal temperatures. And here I have entered number of ending increment of the ending step of heat transfer analysis. Now I go to Abacus to show you these settings. In this project, I have done a thermomechanical analysis on a fin. In model two, I have done a heat transfer analysis 
and in model 4 I have done a mechanical analysis. In model 2 I have defined a transient heat transfer step for doing the heat transfer analysis. I want to show you its settings. And in model 4, I have defined a, a static general step for doing the mechanical analysis. In model 2, in interaction module, I have defined convection between the fin and the ambient. And in the load module, I have defined a boundary temperature. And I have defined initial temperature that is equal to the ambient temperature. And in mesh module, I have used DCC 2D4 element that is a type of heat transfer element for performing convection diffusion analysis. And in model 4, I have used CPE4R element that is a kind of plane strain element for performing mechanical analysis. In model 4, in load module, I have defined a predefined field in step 1 that I have showed you its settings in the slides. Now I go back to the slides. Now I want to talk about extrusion simulation by considering thermal effects due to friction and plastic deformation. I go to Abacus to talk about its modeling. For doing a coupled thermomechanical analysis, I have defined a coupled temp displacement step that is transient. I want to show you its settings. I have set the response to transient and the time period of the step must be equal to the time period of the process. And these are the settings of incrementation. In interaction module, I have defined contact between billet and die. And I have defined frictional contact property. The friction coefficient is equal to 0.15 and I have defined heat generation. For specifying the fraction of dissipated energy caused by friction or electric currents that is converted to heat, its default value is equal to 1. Also, we must specify the fraction of converted heat distributed to a slave surface. Its default value is equal to 0.5. Both of these values must be less than 1. And in the mesh module, I have used CAX40 element that is a kind of coupled temperature displacement element for doing coupled thermomechanical analysis. And I want to show you the results. This is the temperature field. At the start of the analysis, the temperature of billet 
and die is equal to the room temperature. And then, due to the friction and plastic deformation, the temperature increases. And this is the Mises stress field. For increasing the accuracy of showing Mises stress field, we must set the contour type to coiled. And this contour is more accurate. I go back to the slides. In the following tutorial, you will learn how to define material properties to perform thermomechanical analysis. You can contact me by using Telegram or WhatsApp, or you can send email to me. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk WhatsApp, and we can make a special tutorials to your order. We can conduct high-quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Now I want to suggest you several related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.